What is up my veggies? My name is Veggie Tales Raymond and welcome back to another movie review. And today we're going to be reviewing Smurfs The Lost Village. Now, if you guys don't want any spoilers for this movie, I would click off the video now. And if you guys want to, I'll put the link in the description below for you to get the movie out on iTunes. So, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I think a lot of people thought about this movie was the fact that is it better than the first two Smurfs movies? Which this movie does not connect to those at all. And in my opinion, it's pretty good. This is a pretty darn good movie. Me personally, I didn't have a problem with the first two Smurfs movies. And a lot of people probably go, would probably go, oh, oh, uh, 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 uh. it's probably just because you didn't watch Smurfs growing up. Actually, I did watch the Smurfs growing up. I know they came out before I was born, but. I watched the Smurfs growing up. It was one of my actually favorite cartoons to watch. I remember watching one episode about Vanity Smurf and he got like a golden nose or something like that. I remember an episode like that. Um, but yeah, I did watch the original Smurfs and the new Smurfs, the two that came out, Smurfs and Smurfs 2, those were two good movies. I liked them. And when they announced this movie that it wasn't, it was going to be full animated and it wasn't going to connect to the other movies, I was like, okay, this is okay, but I kind of would have liked if it connected to the other movies. It could have still been all full on animation because at the end, it could have connected. And here's the reason how, how they could have connected. The Gargamel did go back to the Smurf world or whatever you want to call it at the end of Smurfs 2. He eventually went back. And there wouldn't have been that much change. You just would have added um, Haggis and um, Vexy. And they didn't have to be main characters in the, in the movie. It just would have been cool to have them as like little background characters or just have them a cameo or something. Because I liked those movies. I liked those movies. And I also liked those two characters. Haggis and Vexy like Ve Vexy more than I liked Haggis. But let's move on. Okay. So the movie starts out pretty much introducing a lot of the Smurfs, which is pretty cool. You get like a cameo from a lot of the Smurfs. And I thought that was really cool. And and there's one thing that this movie actually bothered about me when the trailers are first being released. When they finally reveal what the Lost Village was, uh, who was in the Lost Village with the, with the girl Smurfs, I like didn't like that they revealed that in the trailer. They should have just kept that a mystery till the movie came out, and then when they re-released it on DVD, like when it came out on DVD, they should have then they should have advertised it with the whole girl Smurfs thing. But I think when advertising it for theaters, they should have um they should have. <coughs> What's up with that, guys? They should have advertised it with the Smurfs and all that after, but while it's in theaters, it shouldn't. <coughs> Dang, guys, I'm sneezing. <laughs> okay, back to what I was saying. So, but the movie actually turned out really well. I've actually been trying to watch it for a while. I was going to see it in theaters, but when I went to go see it in theaters, there weren't any more showings. Because it was still in theaters when I went and saw Guardians of the Galaxy volume 2 and I was gonna see that when I saw Guardians of the Galaxy I was gonna watch them both but I'm like oh there's not any more showings of, of the Smurfs so I'm like okay just I'll just watch Guardians of the Galaxy then so I just just watched Guardians of the Galaxy but I was upset that I didn't get to see this on the big screen because here's the thing it do, it does it does is this one is more focused on the Smurfs world and I like that. It reminds me a lot of the original show, especially the way the Smurfs look in this one. That's actually a really good touch to it. And it's... I w I'm not going to lie. Um, there was one thing about this movie that really bothered me was the ending. Spoilers, like I said. See, I thought the girl Smurfs and the, nor the Smurfs we know were going to come together to all fight Gargamel. That's what I was expecting. But no, they all wind up getting trapped and they all wind up getting trapped and it's Smurfette who saves them all. And there's a huge fake out scene 
where Smurfette turns back to clay, and and for a minute they actually had me convinced that she was gone. They had me convinced. They had me convinced. They had me convinced that she was actually gone. That was how convincing that was. But then when you started seeing the magic all come up off the Smurfs, you know, oh, she's not dead. But I was not convinced that Smurfette wasn't coming back. And unlike my review with Suicide Squad, I don't think I said that about Suicide Squad. Never mind, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a video on that, never mind. But unlike, well, unlike what I thought with Suicide Squad where they killed off the Joker and I thought they should have kept him dead. Because I thought it was a better ending and would have gave Harley Quinn some independence. This, I was... Hoping they'd bring her back. Because for me, there's a lot of the times where I'm not a big fan of fake out deaths. I'm not a big fan of that. But this one actually, I was like, no, no, no. Don't, 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 no, 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 no. I almost cried also. And it, it was sad. That was a sad little scene. All the, 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 all the guys smurfs and the girls smurfs all there in the giant circle. And just all crying and... You can really see the um, sadness on each of the Smurfs' faces, especially Papa's. And oh, another thing I want to say: um, Papa Smurf and Mama Smurf, which I, I don't. I'm just gonna call her Mama Smurf because I don't remember what they called her in the movie. I really don't remember. Um, Papa Smurf and Mama Smurf. I ship that. <laughs> I ship them because I just thought. That that that's that's cool. I li I liked it. And they, they seemed like they they could go a couple. And I'm guessing now from the way the movie ended, all the Smurfs are living together in like one big village. I'm guessing is how the Smurfs are living now. And that's kind of what I wanted from how the movie to, how the movie to end is that they were all together living together. And they had some pretty good voice actors too. Uh, the voice actor for Clumsy was perfect. Demi Lovato played um, Smurfette. I don't really know most of the uh, characters and voice actors who played the, some of the characters. Uh, I know a guy, someone that's from The Office, I think it was, played a Brainy, which pulled it off his voice really well. He sounds almost very close to the uh, original voice actor, which is amazing, in my opinion. And another thing I want to point out about this movie is that it's, it's funny. The trailers didn't seem like to give away its best jokes, and there weren't that many, like, butt jokes. It was, like, I think it was only that one butt joke where it's, like, Brainy's, Brainy falls on the bunny and his glasses fall on his butt, and they're like, oh, that's what I'm talk, 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 talking out of your butt. And another thing, like, the, the way the movie looks, um, something, uh, try, uh something that's, uh, the movie looked beautiful. It's kind of like something hefty said in the movie, like, this is a workout for your eyes, or something like that. It was something like that. And I thought that was like, oh, that's a good line. I like that line. That's a really good line. And while I was watching, I was like, yeah, this, this is a good movie. I liked this. My only complaint really is... My only complaint is, and I, I said what well, I said about the ending earlier, I didn't hate the ending. It's just not what I was expecting, what I was hoping for. But it was it was still a good ending. I liked how Gargamel, like how Smurfette stood up to Gargamel, and like tricked him into like getting rid of all the power he, he can consumed from the Smurfs. They made it sound like he ate them. Wait, in the original series, didn't Gargamel like want to eat the Smurfs? Isn't that what he wanted to do in the original series? Yeah, that is what he wanted to do. Hey, okay, back to the um um story. Crap, my mind is blanked. But I liked that this movie took a different approach than the other two did. I just wish this one would have connected to the other two. Because this is another reboot in the, um, or remake, or no, I'd say this is a reboot. A reboot in the Smurf series. Because a lot of people don't know that this is, a lot of people don't, rem don't remember that this is actually the fourth Smurf movie. There was actually a Smurfs movie that was released back in the original Smurfs 
which is two, was 2D animated, or, yeah, that was a Smurfs movie, movie then, and it, I, I would very much recommend you guys go check out this movie, link to get it on iTunes will be in the description below, and I really recommend, I'm sorry if you guys didn't want any spoilers, but I, I could, didn't feel like I could talk about this movie without giving some spoilers, and plus it has been out for a little bit, it's been out for a few months now, I think. I don't know. I don't know when it count on DVD. I don't even remember. It hasn't been that long out that long on DVD and crap. But I do enjoy that movie. I would recommend you guys go watch it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please tap the like button down below. Subscribe. Wait, I'm gonna start over my outro. Hey, I'm gonna start over. Hey guys, Future Veggie Tales Raymond here. Uh, I forgot to say my rating on this movie I give this movie a 4 out of 5 smurfs forgot to give that and so let the video continue to the outro so guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please tap that like button down below subscribe leave me a comment and link to my twitter instagram DeviantArt, and tumblr will all be linked down in the description below and do not forget to hit that notification button so you'll be notified when I upload videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.